Okay, uh, so uh, yeah, a brief uh, review I am giving you. Okay, how, what is the textile finishing? What about uh, all of you have given given me the details and all? But anyhow, anyway, uh, very small. Uh, this is a presentation. Uh, it's a uh, you know all of you have given in that also finishing is a series of processing operations applied to textile material to improve its appearance handle and functional properties so this of course uh, this intro i have given you in the class also uh, the the handle appearance we, we know we we know what is appearance handle in the sense whether it is softness uh, whether it has uh, luster is also one of the appearance factor drape a drape in the sense you know whether it, how how is its fall and all it can whether it can able to fall gracefully uh, and uh, dimensional stability in the sense you know in uh, it, it should be you can uh, so the so it, it should increase its appearance so appearance and uh, handle so softness is handle luster is about the appearance drape how gracefully uh, it drapes and dimensional stability uh, it has to be uh, it without any creases and all crease recovery in the sense even if you crease it also it should uh, remove from the crease soil repellence means if it if you if, you, if you dust and dirt uh, we just adhere to that it will it has to get repel automatically so that is what it is oil repellence so all this uh, finishing is all about to improve the appearance to improve the feel uh, feel or handle and to cover the faults so if there is any uh, any faults any else also that can be covered through finishing so that's what i was telling you like uh, doing makeup okay even if there is something uh, wrong also we can cover it up okay so then uh, then then it is the functional carrying importing functional characteristics uh, like a crease resistant durable pre uh, press then waterproof flame proof and uh, giving some coating uh, and produce some novel effects like a organdy finish organdy is very uh, uh, very uh, you know the fabric will become a very stiff uh, Argandi sari and all is very famous. That is also called as a parchmentizing. Uh, don't get offended by the word parchmentizing. Parchmentizing means it's a stiffening finish given to the cotton fabric. Just by treating it with the sulfuric acid, it will become stiff enough. Okay. So. Who's regarding this? Okay, again, uh, uh, so the same thing, objects of finishing. Uh, again, uh, the same are given in a very, in the format, in the, whatever I have told you, it is, it is written in the uh, presentation. Finishing uh, process carried it out to improve its natural properties and attractiveness of the fabric and to increase its uh, serviceability. So you see, the, you, you know, in your syllabus, there is something uh, called how to be, how you classify the finishes. So the classification can be done in two, three, four different ways. Uh, the, so it is there. One is the aesthetic finishes and functional finishes. Aesthetic means look, appearance, and if, uh, that is all as how it uh, better look, improve the look, that is uh, what is called as aesthetic finish. Uh, for example, is calendaring, uh, durable uh, press, these are all aesthetic. And functional means to impart some functional characteristics. What do you think very important uh, functional property which is very relevant uh, during these days? You know, uh, du during these days, all of you uh, are wearing wearable masks and all. Don't you think think that uh, if you uh, import antimicrobial treatment to our masks, uh, you do think of something like this, 
to do some antimicrobial treatment to the mask so that it will kill coronavirus also. Uh, so think of a thing like that and uh, bring out some product uh, so that if you wear the mask, all the corona out. Okay, something of that sort uh, can be done. Only textile student can do it. Uh, think about that. And uh, and we have we have uh, the temp another uh, classification is temporary, permanent, semi permanent means uh, semi. I mean it will withstand for some washes, then it will go off. Then there is another classification as chemical and mechanical. If we use chemical, it is, is called as chemical finish. Uh, if we without do without using a, a chemical, we by mechanical itself we do it. Then it, uh, the finish is called mechanical finishes. Okay, though so the classification uh, is also is tabulated in this way: physical finish and chemical finish. Again, uh, it is uh, classified into temporary and permanent. And for the physical uh, example is the calendaring, and permanent is the raising. Raising so the raising means, uh, you know, you know, uh, in the, the fabric, the fibers are being raised, and that is particularly used in winter wear and all. So, the chemical finishing uh, again is temporary and uh, is the starching. Starts we apply every time, so it will it will go particularly for saris and kurtas and all we give starch, and uh, and permanent is the resin finish. Resin finish means it will give a permanent uh, durable price kind of a thing. And then mercerization, mercerization it, it improves the uh, luster and those properties. And uh, softening is also a perma permanent finish. Softening finish, okay. And uh, so softening is uh, it will it will make the it will make the even the particularly for linen fabric and all you know linen fabrics are harsh in nature, uh, which uh, the raw linen fa linen fabric no it will it will be very harsh. We we require to import softening finish. Then only we can able to wear it. So the that is also one of the uh, permanent finish. And uh, again, so uh, what is the physical and the chemical and something now, you know, nowadays biological finish and the another qualification, another classification where enzymes and bacteria are used uh, to import finish. Um, a good example is biopolishing. We call it as a biopolishing is the same work. What is singeing is being done. Same thing is being done by the biopolishing. In the singeing, you pass the fabric through uh, the, through burning fire. Okay, at a very fast speed, you pass through the fabric so that the small protruding fibers get burnt. But the uh, yeah, but the problem is after some time, the, again the fiber comes come out will shall come out. But in the case of bio polishing, uh, the enzymes which eat away the fibers around the yarn, so the again it it doesn't the uh, it doesn't come out. So, and another thing, bio polishing uh, here, uh, the, you are not uh, um, you are not sending the material through hot flame and all. So, in that way, uh, it's a, it is better than uh, singeing. So, bio polishing, and you are using only enzymes. You can activate the enzymes, and you can stop the activity of the enzyme at any time, depending upon our requirement. In that way, now biological finishes are. Uh, very uh, very common and very uh, very easy to use also so and another uh, same thing about the calendaring only they have we, they have given example just uh, where, wherever you uh, you write anywhere now always uh, write some example so that the examiner will uh, come to know that you are very clear in your uh, subject means temporary in the sense calendaring calendaring is nothing but uh, ironing no pressing and all when you press it is a temporary after every wash you need to press it isn't it it is similar to that and uh, embossing is uh, just um, any designs are being embossed on it 
starching uh, is also every time uh, you, you wash you need to starch it so the, those are all temporary and the semi permanent f- finish are uh, uh, you know bakram finish bakram finish means you use it in collar and all no so those things are very uh, uh, you know use uh, bakram cloth in the ca- in the collar that will that is a uh, semi permanent finish permanent finish of course uh, with uh, all these uh, uh, flame proof waterproof and resin and the sand for raising sand for raising otherwise it is also called as a zero zero finish means it it shrinks the fabric we are pre pre shrink the fabric to the maximum extent so that it doesn't shrink thereafter okay so remember some two three words uh, sand for raising zero zero finish uh, so these are all the uh, same one and the same we can where we pre shrink the fabric to the maximum extent so that it does it cannot spring shrink anymore uh, and again if you make it as a chemical and mechanical uh, de- classification also the example wherever you use chemical it's a chemical finish where uh, no chemicals are being used only through mechanical device it is being done it is calendaring raising and sand for raising okay and uh, so the some uh, if you go in detail flame retardant uh, finish it is a very uh, functional finish it is it what it does it protect the uh, consumer uh, it is also used in upholstery firefighting materials it is mostly used in military purpose military and airline industry in the car upholstery everything is fire. it means the uh, flame retardant means it w- it w- i mean it won't allow to propagate the flame it will extinguish on its own so that is the very important uh, property because that is very much necessary if the if somewhere if a car gets uh, fire it has to extinguish on its own it is mandatory in other countries in us and all it is a, it is a, there is a law all the kids garments and the garments for the elderly people are Uh, necessarily to be given with this finish but in india it is not there uh, but it's a very important finish for uh, all the uh, kids garments and uh, elderly people garments the finish is a must and this waterproof uh, water repellent finish is there that is very uh, useful during rainy season and all um, so then uh, again this you know this calendaring finish mechanical finish example is calendaring you know all the we need to iron the fabric we cannot uh, iron the full length of fabric that is why it is passed in between uh, cylinders that is in greek cylinder means uh, mean calendar means cylinder in greek so that is why it is called as a calendaring okay we are passing the materials uh, through a set of uh, um, cylinders the in which one is heated inside through steam that is a steel cylinder another is a cotton uh, cotton bowl it is called as so in between when you when you send the fabric it get pressed so that is why it is called as a calendaring finish okay so this is what uh, yeah very in the very first lecture uh, yes now if you want you can ask something and uh, how many of you i uh, hope all of you who have participated here have, have submitted uh, their assignments i'll individually i'll reply to you uh, regarding uh, whatever you have uh, done what you got you could have done better or uh, some of you have done really good uh, good so those things i will do now you please any of you want to talk you just raise your hand you can talk biological finish that's for now bio polishing and you know in the jeans and all we are giving this enzymatic finishes all enzymatic finishes are biological finishes only at uh, uh, ph it is activated and then uh, those those enzymes it will eat away the protruding fibers around the uh, around the yarn so once that is done afterwards the ph is increased it is ph is increased to 7 then that activity stops then we can uh, we can we can uh, stop the process and wash it and we can uh, utilize it
it is same singeing effect you will get it if you take the bio polished fabric and put it under a microscope it, it you see nothing no uh, protruding fibers you will be seeing uh, in that uh, bio polished fiber and another example is your uh, denim no denim uh, this stone wash is being given no actual stone wash is there is pumice stones are being earlier it was used along with that the cloth is rotated then you got you are you are getting uh, that stone wash effect nowadays no stones are being used nowadays even just you that is, there is an enzyme that, that enzymes are added the those enzymes will just remove the what stone wash what we do that uh, uh, protruding uh, fibers yeah protruding color here and there we remove it the same thing it does uh, it does to uh, denim also we get uh, different kinds of uh, enzymes are available to get different kinds of uh, bio uh, finish so something more also will will be knowing ah uh, yes क्या बोला फिर से बोलिए ऑक्सीजन लेवल फ्लेम प्रोपोकेट्स so you cut the oxygen supply supply to the flame to the fabric so that it it extinguishes on its own so those things are the yeah, coating is being applied over the fabric yeah your yeah, chlorinated compounds are those things are being up, applied so it will arrest the uh, oxygen supply so that it the, the flame doesn't propagate okay yeah, that is a flame proof fabric it is uh, very much used in uh, upholstery car upholstery flight upholstery and uh, uh, by military people also that is flame proof finish take okay, some some more information if you want i uh, mean some many of the students have submitted uh, their assignments i will i think i will uh, finally i will share all the assignments so that all of you will be getting benefit out of that theek okay, hai okay sir hmm ignited but it will extinguish on its own yeah it won't propagate samajh rahe na agar flame proof ka matlab hai nomax fiber hai ek ya glass fiber hai jo bhi hai ab jalane se bhi jalega nahi wo theek hai lekin dusra fiber aisa hai ab jalane se bahut der se jalega agar jalega to bhi apne aap jalna band ho jayega samajh rahe ho na detergent ka matlab जलेगा लेकिन बंद हो जाएगा प्रूफ का मतलब वो जलेगा ही नहीं ठीक है अंडरस्टूड इट इज सिमिलर इन द वाटर प्रूफ आल्सो इन द वाटर प्रूफ इट इज लेटेक्स कोटिंग इज बीइंग डन सो वाटर विल नॉट पास थ्रू इवन एयर विल नॉट पास थ्रू वेर एज अ वाटर रेजिस्टेंट इन द सेंस दे इट विल वाटर कैन विल पास थ्रू इफ यू फोर्स इट इट विल गेट पास थ्रू पास थ्रू द अदर साइड आल्सो एंड एयर विल आल्सो पास थ्रू इन द केस ऑफ वाटर रेजिस्टेंट फैब्रिक प्रूफ मतलब बिल्कुल मना है रिटायर्ड मतलब चलेगा ऐसा है ठीक है नहीं ये दो फ्लेम प्रूफ इज मेनली यूज गिवन फॉर द फायर फाइटर्स ओके ना दे आर एंटरिंग इन टू समर इन फायर फाइटर्स दो आर बींग गिवन but the flame retardant is given to the normal fabric normal our uh, whatever the daily use fabrics 
I told you there is a law in uh, US and all. They don't all anything, all home, all home furnishings, all kids garments, all elderly person garments are uh, are uh, to be given with the finish in the US. There is a law. But uh, here in India, it is very hard and fast here. Otherwise, it's a, it's a, it's a role there. So, we are, wherever, whoever in the export industry, you can ask your seniors also. You will come to know that it is being the flame proof, flame redundant finish is being given to the exportable products. When the buyer needs it, you need to impart the finish. So, it's a little costly, but it is to be given. Anything here? Sir, what do you mean by eco audit? Eco audit? Revia, Osilla was made in the year. Question, I am. Question, I एको ऑडिट ठीक है ठीक है भैया एको ऑडिट के बारे में हम हम बताएंगे नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में बताएंगे ठीक है और भी ऐसा कुछ मतलब कि जो है जो इन देखो फ्रेंडली वेट प्रोसेसिंग में आप आपने को ये जो कार्सिनोजेनिक नेचर ऑफ केमिकल्स यूज नहीं करना चाहिए जो भी विद इन द रेंज है पर्टिकुलरली ये जो ये जो फॉरेन कंट्रीज में जो है उसका स्किन है ना वो जो स्किन उनका गोरा स्किन होता है ना इवन नॉट इवन गोरा इट इज इवन वाइट वाइट स्किन जब होता है दे दे आर वेरी वेरी सेंसिटिव स्किन है वहां पे वो थोड़ा बहुत हो जाता तो रेश हो जाता है उन लोगों को अपना लोगों को कुछ नहीं होता ऐसा काला स्किन है तो सो दैट इज व्हाई सो दोस केमिकल्स आर कंसीडर्ड एज हार्मफुल केमिकल्स एंड व्हिच व्हिच आर बैंड रिपीट कर T A I M U टेक्सटाइल एसोसिएशन ऑफ इंडिया मुंबई यूनिट उसका आक्रमण बोल रहा हूँ T A I M U dot O R G उसका slash digital library करने से उनका digital library का access आपको मिलेगा उसमें सारा videos है अब जो भी process बोल रहे हैं सारा video यू processing बोलो spinning बोलो कुछ भी सब का videos है वाला वाला आप click करके अंदर जाके उसका आप mill visit नहीं किया तो चलेगा पूरा process उसमें दिखेगा आप लोग आप लोग freely देख सकते हो कोई पैसा नहीं लगे� ठीक है आप उसको आ, देख लीजिए T A I M U आप कहाँ से हैं 